चैप्टर 28 एडवाइस ऑफ कर्म विपक टू हरिजन श्री गुरु सेड आई विल टेल यू द अकाउंट ऑफ योर पास्ट लाइफ वन गेट्स बर्थ एज पर वन गुड और बैड एक्शन ब्राह्मण एंड पर्सन ऑफ अदर कास्ट आर जी डी जनरेटेड इफ दे लीड अ फॉल्टी लाइफ वन हु लीव्स हिज पेरेंट्स और गुरु एंड गोज एल्स वेयर एंड हु फोर सिक्स हिज वाइफ बिकम्स अ चंडाल वन हु अडोर्स अदर डेटीज लिविंग वन फैमिली गॉड हु स्पीक्स लाइ हु किल्स एनिमल्स सेल्स हिज डॉटर सेल्स हॉर्सेज सेट्स फायर टू द फॉरेस्ट सेपरेट्स अ काव फ्रॉम हिज काफ राइड्स ऑन एन ऑक्स बिकम्स अ चंडाल अ ब्राह्मण आफ्टर गोइंग टू होली प्लेस डज नॉट बेट देर एंड डज नॉट ऑब्जर्व सिक्स कर्मास हिज फर्स्ट वाइफ बींग अलाइव मैरीज विथ अदर एंड फोर सिक्स द फर्स्ट हु एन्जॉयज विथ विडोज बिकम्स डी जनरेटेड सिमिलरली वन हु ब्रेक्स टैंक्स वेल्स कॉज इज स्प्लिट इन ब्राह्मण्स हाउस टेक्स मील्स इन द इवनिंग रनस अवे फ्रॉम द बैटल फील्ड लिविंग द मास्टर डज नॉट ऑब्जर्व श्राद्ध speaks about one's virtues administers medicines without knowing the pulse censures hari and har he also gets birth in a chandal family mixes water in cow's milk becomes a dog one who criticizes vedas disrespects brahmins suffers from stone in bladder one who causes abortion of women becomes neutral even if he has a child they do not survive he who steals book becomes blind one who steals his friend's house suffers from glands in neck a thief of food articles suffers from tumor one who takes away money offered to the god becomes a leper one who steals cow's milk becomes a leper the bad results of adultery are given in the shanti parva of mahabharat shri guru then explains how different kinds of activities lead to different kinds of birth in the next life hearing this three vikram said if one has committed a sin how can it be wiped off shri guru said if there is real repentance the sin is wiped off prayas chitta purative acts are given in karma vipak as follows take brahma danda give cows with ornaments to charity in brahman if this is not possible give money if the sin is minor then giving of gold coin will suffice if a man and his wife both have committed a sin both should take prayashita or recite gayatri mantra 10000 times or feed 12 brahmanas gayatri krichara prajapati krichara means to take oral meal once a day or take madhukari food arms given at brahmins and have fast for 3 days may mild sins are wiped off by this act in ati kri chara take 15 morsels of food in the morning and 12 in the night or take 8 morsels of madhukari food each in the morning and in night take ghee for 3 days and milk for 3 days live only on air for 3 days and then only on milk for 3 days and then take only milk for 21 days a weak person can observe fast taking till good parched paddy which is lahi in parna krichara water in which leaves of certain trees are dipped has to be taken one should declare one's sin in the meeting openly tirtha krichara means to go to holy place take bath recite gayatri mantra for 1200 times all sins are destroyed by doing this bath at setu bandha wives of sin of killing a child in womb recitation of 1 crore gayatri mantra wives of even the sins of brahma hatya pava manas sukta indra mitra shuna shep apamadhya tad visho Vishona Purush Sukta from the Vedas will wipe off sins if recited daily. Taking of Pancha Gavya that is mixture of five things cow's milk, curd, ghee, cow's urine and dung after repentance destroys sins committed due to ignorance. Brahma Hatya drinking enjoying with guru's wife 
theft of gold cooperation in these crimes are five great sins which are destroyed by the favor of shri guru shri guru told hari jan you were brahman but you disregarded your parents and therefore you have become a chandal you pay that the sangam for a month and your sins will be wiped off and then the hari jan said a crow becomes a rajahamsa on going to the manas lake similarly i have been pure by your darshan how can the iron transformed into gold by the touch of philosopher stone be iron again assimilate me now amongst the brahmans shri guru smiled and said you are born in low caste how can you be a brahman without change of present day in former times vishwamitra was born a kshatriya by penance he called himself a brahma rishi indra and other gods and other gods said if our guru vashishtha calls you brahma rishi we shall follow his verdict vashishtha did not address vishwamitra as brahma rishi vishwamitra was enraged and he killed hundred sons of vashishtha and came to eat the flesh of the corpse thus the bhasma touched the dead body of the brahmana he being a sinner he was being taken by yamadutas but as his body had marks of bhasma shiva dutas also came to carry him to shiva's place when shiva the shiva dutas attacked the yamaduta who then left the brahman's corpse and complained to yama who came to shiva dutas and angrily asked them why did you take that sinful brahman from my men the shiva dutas told him the body of the brahmana had and ma- had marks of bhasma on it so as per shiva's order we are taking him to touch the body with the marks of bhasma being satisfied yama then went away brahma rakshas said when i was a king i had constructed a tank in a forest and had given some land to brahmans so as told by yama i had the fortune to see you in his 25th life kindly tell me how bhasma is applied and liberate me from the cycles of birth and death vaman deva was an incarnation of trimurti dattatreya in the form of a rishi as a jagat guru he wandered from place to place to redeem humans vaman dev said shri shankar had gone to mandrachal along with his rudragan indra brahma dev vashishtha a yaksha gandharva and rishis had come there to see shri shankar who was seated on a beautiful throne having seven backgrounds all very bright and made of precious stones he had moon on his forehead locks of hair on his head takshank on one ear and vasuki on another and wreaths of serpent around his neck he had trishul in one hand and damru in the other sword in his hands and held different kinds of weapons in other he was sitting with parvati devi who was wearing rich clothes and ornaments sanat kumar requested shri shankar to tell some means by which one would attain all the four purusharthas shri shankar said have three pundara three lines on forehead and apply bhasma on body this will destroy all sins and after death one goes to heaven Vaman Dev gave enchanted bhasma to Brahma Rakshas who applied it to his body and had three pundara on his forehead he was at once transformed into a celestial person and a plane descended to take him to heaven though bhasma has much greatness the greatness of shri guru is still more and so due to the favor of Vaman Dev the Brahma Rakshas was liberated chapter 29 the great power of bhasma tri vikrama bowed to shri guru and asked o oh guru how did the chandala get knowledge and how did it vanish after the bath shri guru said he received knowledge when i sprinkled vibhuti the ash the sacred ash on him his knowledge disappeared when the ashes disappeared one who applies vibhuti will become pure and get pure and whole and get knowledge of a brahman he then narrated the story In Krita Yuga there was a mahayogi named Vamadev he used to apply bhasma to his body he was without pride and desire once he wandered into a forest named Ground Charanya there a demon came to eat him but as he held Vamadev some bhasma 
on Vamadeva's body rubbed off onto his body as a result demon sins were washed away and he received enlightenment all three vikrama one sins are washed away on one's coming into contact with a person of good character and integrity the demon bowed to vamadeva and prayed for redemption shri guru asked the demon about him the demon said now i remember my 25 previous birth before which i was a king named durjaya i was a wicked king harassed by citizens including women and drank a lot of alcohol due to all this i had to go to hell and become a ghost for 100 years then i took birth as a dog jackal and other animals i was tired of all these births then i became a demon although i eat so many animals i'm still hungry so i come to eat you but the contact with your body has washed my sins away i have attained peace and acquired knowledge oh compassionate one redeem me and explain to me how i attain knowledge due to contact with bhasma on your body bama deva said the power of bhasma is great and limitless you touched my body on which i had applied sacred ashes with these words he put the power of shiva mantra into bhasma and gave it for the demon to apply the demon said oh shri jagat guru i met you due to my good deeds in my previous birth as a king i had built water tank and gave lands to cows and now i have been rewarded i have been purified with these words he applied bhasma to his body doing so he immediately got into heavenly body vaman deva was an incarnation of trimurti dattatreya in the form of a rishi as a jagat guru he wandered from place to place to redeem humans this demon bowed to vaman deva and attained moksha this was the story of shri guru to describe the glory of bhasma the power of bhasma is great even a demon was saved by it but no mantra is successful unless it is blessed by a guru that's why they say no salvation is possible without guru he is a liberator and protector